And this is my studio, and we're open. And there's people coming, I promise you that, one or two. <laughs> but we're doing yoga for athletes today, and uh, we're gonna do, work on a little bit of core and a little bit of shoulders, kind of shoulders and upper back. So we'll let those people figure out what they're figuring out, and we'll go ahead and get started. So let's start with your feet about <clears throat> shoulder distance. Bring the palms together, close your eyes. Relax your shoulders, start breathing in and out of your nose. Let the shoulders drop down, let the top of the head float up. Breath smooth. Set your intention. First moment or two, setting your intention for your practice to uh, release some stress, to heal, to strengthen, whatever it is for you that makes sense, that adds that deeper meaning to your breath and your movements. And then drop your head down to the left side. Easy neck stretch. If you're newer to us and you're just catching this on Facebook or YouTube, the live streams are done on a donation basis. You can go to the yoga studio. Five, hey, Marshawn, good morning. Um, Fivepointyoga.com and you can just scroll down and you'll see how you can support our studio from afar. Switch sides. Good morning, Kathy. Stretching the neck and breathing. Good. Dropping the arms, a few circles of the head, one direction. Good. And then opposite direction. Good, back to the center, some shoulder rolls, forward and back, forward and back. Good, and then back and forward, and back and forward. Ooh. Arms up from there, interlace the fingertips, turn the palms up to the ceiling. So we watched over the weekend One Night in Miami. Have you guys seen that on the Amazon Prime? Did you see it? <laughs> it was pretty good. It was good. It's funny, like the movie was okay, but the implications of those, do you know what, do you know what it is? So basically, um, Muhammad Ali fights and he, it's the night that he wins the championship for the first time in Miami. But he and Sam Cooke and Jim Brown and Malcolm X, all get together so it's like a kind of a fictional story of like what if these icons uh, you know of african-american culture got together and like had a night together and it's so i mean the writing is really great but it's it's more the implications of that happening you know it was it was really good actually fold over to one side it's really well done just the idea behind it and you know them communicating together and it's it was it was it's well worth watching for sure Back to the center, lean back, take a nice big inhale, and then fold all the way down, forward, exhale, hang forward, and breathe. Remember, if the legs are tight or the back is tight, you bend the knees slightly, grab your elbows, drop your head down, stretch. You could sway a little side to side, a little sway is nice. If it feels okay, not, you don't ever want to have pain. Good. And then back to the center. Let's uh, clasp the hands back, interlace the fingertips, stretch the shoulders. One more breath, shoulders. 
and then release the arms. Let's go ahead and just roll up from there slowly, rolling all the way up. When you get up, we're going to do a few arm circles. So one arm, a few circles here, loosening up that shoulder. I've had a little bit of a shoulder thing that for, I guess, about a month, month and a half now. It definitely feels like it's getting better, but still slight little twinge in there. Uh, switch sides. So if you happen to have any shoulder issues, then make sure that you modify, because we are going to go a little deeper in the shoulders today. Shoulders and core, you guys. So side to side from here a little bit. And good. All right, stepping to the front of your mat. Take a nice big inhale, lift the arms up. Fold all the way down forward as you exhale. Extend the spine as you inhale. Look forward and then step back to plank. Top of a push up. Hold here, breathe. Fingers spread, palms flat, breath smooth. letting the body warm up. And then we're gonna uh, go in some circles. So circles on the wrists, circles on the shoulders, breathing. Good, opposite direction. Good, and then up to you five times to chaturanga, so push-ups if you want, or you can skip that, lower all the way to the mat. Just pause for a moment. If you're doing the push-ups, three more. Good, drop the knees. So if you did go all the way to the mat, come on back up onto the hands and knees, cat and cow tilts for the spine. Inhale, exhale, inhale. Exhale, inhale, exhale, couple more, inhale, exhale, one more, good, and then uh, lift the feet side to side, shoulder and hip together one side, shoulder and hip together other side, keep that going. Breaking up some of that stiffness and tightness in the uh, spine. Good. All right. Downward facing dog from there. Come on up. Tuck the toes. Lift the hips. Take a moment. Bend the left leg. Push the right heel down. Give it a nice big stretch. One side. Good, then switch sides, same thing. Good. Straightening both legs, coming up on the toes, walk softly to the hands. Extend that spine as you inhale, look forward, fold as you exhale. All the way up, nice big inhale. Hands together at the heart, exhale, arms up again, inhale, folding down forward as you exhale, extend the spine as you inhale, step back or hop back as you exhale, vinyasa. I might be dating myself here, but after watching that movie, we looked up a whole bunch of old Muhammad Ali videos and Howard Cosell, and <laughs> it was such an amazing, I remember my dad, like every time Muhammad Ali fought, it was like a huge, it was like a national event. So great. It's funny, I was thinking, there's not very many people like that now. Up on the toes, walk or hop forward. 
Extend the spine as you inhale, fold as you exhale. All the way up, nice big inhale. And we watched at um, Muhammad Ali's celebration of life, Billy Crystal gave this big long 10 minute speech that was so great because he was such a, he had this comic skit that was uh, him and Howard Cosell, arms up, inhale, and he did both, he played both of them. It was really great, halfway up. And then step or hop back, vinyasa. Upward facing dog, and downward facing dog. Fingers spread, palms flat, lift the tailbone, breathe. Good. Up on the toes again, we'll do one more, walk or hop. Extend that spine as you inhale, fold as you exhale, all the way up as you inhale. Hands together at the heart. Exhale, one more round, inhale. Sun salutation, A, fold as you exhale. Extend the spine as you inhale. Step back or hop back as you exhale. Vinyasa, lower. Upward facing dog and downward facing dog, good. Right side first, take the leg up, hold it up, few breaths. Up to you, you could open the hip or keep them square. I'll let you choose, breathe. And then square the hips from there, shoulders of the wrists, knee to the nose, abdomen strong. One, two, three, and then lift it. And then forward knee to your left side, hold it. One, two, three, lift it. Same to the right side, hold it. One, two, three, a little core, lift it. And all the way forward to the hands. Stay here just about five times. Straighten the front leg, flex the foot. Bend the knee, drop the hips. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. Keep it going, inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, two more, exhale. One more, inhale, and exhale. So right from here, turn the back foot flat down. We're gonna stay low for a moment. So back foot turns flat, and then just sink down and clasp the hands here, right here. So instead of coming up first and then down, let's just start here. So just interlace the fingers back, stretch the shoulders, breathe. Softening the shoulders, see if you can melt big, Muscle group there, shoulders, because you got not only the neck, but you got the trapezius, the deltoids, the, all your rotator cuff muscles back there. Let's see if we can open them up a little bit today. Now come on up, warrior one. Just one big inhale. Hands down to the floor, exhale, leg back. Vinyasa, three options, all the way to the mat or uh, halfway, cobra or upward facing dog and down dog. Left side from there, take the leg up behind you, hold it. Good. One more inhale, and then shoulders over the wrists, knee to the nose, abdomen strong, hold it. One, two, Three, lift it, and then forward knee to the right. Hold it, one, two, three. Lift it, and up to the left. Hold it, one, two, three. Lift it, and then all the way forward. Stay here, about five times. Straighten the front leg, flex the foot. Bend the knee, drop the hips. Inhale, straighten, exhale, bend. Good, inhale, and again, as always, feel it out for you, for your body, where is it tighter, can you go a little deeper, what do you, whatever you need for right now. Inhale, exhale, let's do two more. Inhale, 
exhale, and one more. Good, and turn the back foot flat, sink the shoulders inside the leg if you can, interlace the fingers back behind you, find a nice deep shoulder stretch, breathe. Good, one more breath. And then come on up, warrior one, inhale. Hands to the floor, exhale. Take the leg back. Vinyasa, lower down. Upward facing dog, downward facing dog. Hold it here, breathe. And just a little kind of awareness for the shoulders. So for the moment, I want you to kind of be, I guess that'd be like an external rotation of the shoulders, but I want you to kind of bunch your shoulders up into your ears, kind of. And then I want you to bend the arms out to the side, and I want you to take your bent elbows and bring them under your body. So this, when I learned it, was called turbo dog you'll find out in a second why because if you keep the elbows bent here it's just so much more intense but I want you to feel what it feels like in the upper back now keep those arms sort of turned like that but push them straight and notice your stretch in between the shoulder blades right that's kind of that's really external rotation of the shoulders now we're going to go back to the incorrect way so now shoulders kind of in the ears right? and now correct way, so elbows under the body. So to create that awareness is what you want. It doesn't have to be that extreme. Come up on the toes when you're ready, walk forward to the hands. But ultimately in downward facing dog, you wanna feel some space in the shoulders and upper back, halfway up and fold. And by the way, it took me probably a couple of years to figure that out. <laughs> Chair pose. I was like, what are they talking about? Spread the shoulder blades. It's not a thing. And then you realize at some point your body goes, yes, it is a thing. So don't be discouraged. <laughs> Sinking down, breathing deep. Letting some heat build here. A little bit of warmth. Good. One more inhale, a little lower. And then stand, hands together at the heart. Exhale. Let's go three rounds, sun salutation B. So chair pose when you're ready, inhale. Fold as you exhale. Halfway up as you inhale. Step or hop back as you exhale. Vinyasa. Upward facing dog, down dog, right side first. Take it up, bring it forward. Warrior one, reach up. Hands down, leg back, vinyasa. Upward facing dog, downward facing dog, left side, take it up, bring it forward, warrior one, reach up, hands down, leg back, lower, up, back, hold, down dog, breathe, extend the shoulders, find that space, that space, so again, it doesn't need to be super you don't have to go into turbo dog, but I want you to kind of turn the elbows under and then feel that expansion and space in between the shoulder blades and then push the floor away from you so you extend the shoulders and twist them. One more breath. And then up on the toes, walk or hop forward. Extend the spine as you inhale, fold as you exhale. Chair pose, inhale. Stand, hands together at the heart. Exhale, big full breath. Back to chair, inhale. Fold down, exhale. Halfway up, inhale. Step or jump back, exhale. Vinyasa. Right side first, take the leg up, bring it forward. Warrior one, reach up, inhale, hands down, lay back, vinyasa. 
left side. Take it up, bring it forward. Warrior one, reach. Hands down, leg back, vinyasa. Downward facing dog, hold and breathe. One more breath. And then up on the toes again. Walk softly to the hands. Extend that spine as you inhale. Fold as you exhale. Chair pose from there. Inhale. Stand, hands to the heart. Exhale, full breath. And then one more cycle. Back to chair, inhale. Fold down, exhale. Extend the spine, inhale, step or jump back, exhale, vinyasa, abdomen strong. Right side first, take the leg up, bring it forward. Warrior one, reach up. Hands down, take the leg back, vinyasa. Left side, take it up. Forward, warrior one, hands down, leg back, lower, up and back, very good. Down dog, just a couple breaths, push, extend the shoulders, turn them out, and extend again. Good, and then up on the toes. Walk or hop forward. Lengthen the spine as you inhale. Fold as you exhale. This time, feet apart a little bit. So your hip distance or shoulder distance. Bend the knees slightly. Clasp the hands back behind you. Interlace the fingertips. Stretch the shoulders. Good. One more breath. And then release the arms. Bend the knees, chair pose, inhale. Stand, hands behind the back. So we're gonna do our little chair pose vinyasa, so interlace. Lift the heart up, shoulders back and down, head back, take a big inhale. Fall down forward as you exhale. Stretch the shoulders, chair pose. Bend the knees, reach the arms up. Inhale, stand. So three more like that. Interlace, lift up. Fall down, stretch, chair pose, inhale, stand, hands behind you, exhale, two more, inhale, lift up, exhale, fold, chair pose, inhale, stand up, hands behind you, one more round, inhale, lift, exhale, fold, chair pose, inhale, Stand, hands in front. Step the feet together, palms together. Take a nice deep breath. Good. And then um, back to uh, chair pose. Inhale. Just take an easy twist. Palms together. Hook your left elbow outside the right knee. Lengthen the upper body. Twist and turn. Breathe. Good, one more breath. Nice big twist. Back to chair, inhale. And switch. Lengthen the torso as you turn and twist and breathe. Good, and then back to chair, inhale and then fold. Extend the spine, inhale, step or jump back, exhale, vinyasa. Shoulders pull back, downward facing dog. 
We're going to add a little core right here. So shh, drop to the knees, drop to the forearms. I'm going to do one minute. Uh, and then we'll go to dolphin. So first one we'll hold. We'll wind up doing three of these over the next little bit. Ready, set, go. So tuck the toes, straighten the legs. Breathe. If you needed to interlace the fingers, that's fine. But if you can have the forearms parallel, that's a deeper stretch in your upper back and shoulders. So besides a good, smooth, even breath, when you think about extending those shoulders and then engaging the abdomen, so pulling your midsection or your abs, front side abs, to the back of your spine. If not all the time, definitely on the exhale. And then engage your thighs. Already more than halfway done. Breathe. Good, 15 seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. Lift the hips, walk the feet closer, push shoulders, push them straight and breathe. Good, looking at the hands and then push the arms straight. Very nice. All right, right side again. Take the leg up behind you. Bring it all the way forward. Turn the back foot, warrior one. And then warrior two, open up to the side. So warrior two, pause. What we're gonna do here is a little Garudasana, so you guys know it here. The back arm goes on the bottom, front arm crosses over, goes on top. You wrap and see if you can reach those palms together. And because of my shoulder, I can't quite get the palms, but I can get, my fingers can grab the thumb. So that's a modification depending on your body. Still warrior two with the legs if you can. Feel this in your upper back and shoulders if possible. Breathe. Good, one more breath. And then release the arms. Go ahead and take your left arm Wrap it around the back, toward the front thigh, forearm to the thigh, pause. So think about the shoulders here. So oftentimes we'll focus on the hips or whatever else, but for, for, for today, think about this top shoulder. So extend the torso, engage the abdomen slightly, lengthen the torso and twist and turn up. Breathe. And then from here, if you feel okay, right hand to the floor and lengthen the upper body as you twist and turn and back and breathe. Good, really see if you can get that shoulder to open up a little bit more. Look down from there, right hand stays down, left arm over the ear, breathe. One more inhale, and then come on back up, warrior two, and let it go. Hands down, take the leg back, vinyasa abdomen strong as you lower, upward facing dog, and downward facing dog. Good, pause for a moment, bend the left leg, just push that left, the right heel down, give it a nice big stretch. And then take the left leg up and bring it all the way forward. Turn the back foot flat, come to warrior one, and then open to the side, warrior two. Good. Shoulders relaxed, breath smooth. Feeling it out for you, for your body, and now we'll go into our Garudasana, our eagle pose, so back arm on the bottom, front arm on top, Wrap it around, grab the, and then come up and breathe. Good. 
good. And one more breath. Give that a good stretch in the shoulders and upper back. And then release that. You're gonna take that back arm, wrap it around your body. Uh, right hand kind of grabs the thigh, depending on the flexibility of your torso uh, and your shoulder and the length of your arm. You'll be able to grab the inner thigh or not, doesn't matter. Lengthen the torso and turn up and breathe. Good, and then left hand down to the floor. Breathe, lengthen and twist. Good, one more breath, opening up that shoulder. And then you're gonna release that top arm, take it over the ear, extend. That's where I lose circulation, my arm. <laughs> Keep breathing, twisting up, a couple more breaths. And then come on back up, warrior two. And let it go, hands down, take the leg back. Vinyasa lower. Upward facing dog or cobra. And then downward facing dog. Pause and breathe. Could take a moment, bend that right leg, push the left heel down, give it a little stretch in the back of that leg. And then drop to the knees again. We're gonna go back into core strength. And we'll start it up again. Like before, this time we'll throw in a couple of variations for you. Ready, set, go. So again, palms can be flat or um, you can interlace the fingers if you want, but relax your, your arms here if possible and breathe. Abdomen strong. We're gonna take the right leg up and now so 10 seconds hold it if you want so if that's too much and you're struggling just to stay here for a minute then don't take the leg up if you did switch legs same and breathe good switch it Switch it. Good, and three, two, one, dolphin. So lift the hips, push the shoulders back, get a nice big stretch. One more breath. And then look at the hands, push the arms straight down dog, good. And then from downward facing dog, go ahead and drop to the knees. We're gonna do a little different stretch. So you're gonna tuck the toes, sit back onto the heels, all right? Interlace the fingertips, turn the palms forward. So a little foot stretch, a little break from down dog. Shoulder stretch here. So you're interlacing the fingers, reaching the arms up, stretching the feet and shoulders. Breathe. Upper back. Notice your lower ribs. So if your lower ribs push forward, see if you can, and you sink into the lower back, see if you can engage the abdomen slightly and kind of pull the, the ribs down a little bit. So you're just isolating the shoulders and upper back. And breathe. Good. Now lean back, lift up, a couple more breaths. One more inhale. And then come forward, lift the feet, wiggle the toes for a moment. And then you're gonna point the toes back, sit back onto the heels. We're gonna go into a, another stretch for the shoulders, interlace the fingers back behind you, lift the upper body up, pull the shoulders back, take a deep inhale, 
and then fold down onto the very top of the head. And breathe. Good. Release that. And then let's head back to downward facing dog. So come on up, tuck the toes, downward facing dog. Take an extra moment here. Just bend the left leg, push the right heel down, stretch. And then switch sides, stretch. Good, one more. Uh, standing, ooh, excuse me, standing sequence here, right leg up. Uh, bring it forward, stay on your back toes, crescent pose. So again, we're focused mostly on core and shoulders today, but it doesn't mean we can't at least stretch this hip flexor here. So sink down and breathe in our yoga for athletes. We always wanna make sure we're paying attention to all areas in the body. And then arms out to the side, lift the upper body up, breathe. Good, and now you can, you got three options. You could just keep the hands out there. You could interlace the fingers back behind you, or you could bring the palms together and take reverse namaste with your arms. And then we're gonna, once you take an arm variation, we're gonna lean forward and step up. So take one big inhale, and then, whoa, whoa, whoa. If you don't fall, <laughs> lean forward and step up. That was like a big undertow, almost took me in. Yeah, <laughs> breathe deep. So wherever your arm variation is, what I want you to do, if you're back behind you, stretching the shoulders, start to lower the upper body. You lower the upper body, might help you get a little deeper shoulder stretch. So I usually switch to interlacing my fingers, but it's also a big balance, I'm kind of in a standing splits with a shoulder variation. Breathe. Good, and then both hands down. We're coming back up to half moon. Not a long time, just three breaths, deep breaths. One more, deep inhale, and exhale. You can bring that left hand down, take the right arm up. Three more breaths, drive that back leg back, lengthen the upper body, little hamstrings here. Breathe. Whoa. Good, one more inhale, and drop it all. So hands and feet, shake out the leg that right leg. We're gonna squat down. So feet apart a bit, squatting down. I'm getting into some territory I'm not quite ready for, but it's okay, we can do, <laughs> we can do. This sort of door leads me down this whole path in my brain of what we're gonna do, but we're not gonna do all of it. Um, <clears throat> sorry, that's behind the scenes in my mind. Interlace the fingertips <laughs> and then reach up and breathe. Oh. So shoulders and upper back. Power lifters apparently. Power lifters and gymnasts are the most flexible. And there here you want to get vertical, right? Uh, one more inhale and then fold. Clasp the hands back behind you, interlace, stretch. Ah. Good. Release the arms, go ahead and step back. Take your vinyasa or not. You could just go straight to down dog. Inhale, and then exhale, down dog, good. Pause here, and then uh, left side. Left leg up, bring it forward, last standing sequence. Stay on the back toes, crescent, arms up. Drive that back leg back, so you're really stretching that back leg and front side hip flexor. 
and then arms out to the side. Good. Lifting up, leaning back a little bit. Whoa. Breathe. Good. Now your choice in the arm variation. Maybe interlace, maybe bring the palms together. Either way, pull those shoulders back. Lift the heart up. Take a big inhale. Mm, fold forward. Step up. Warrior three. Pause. Just a couple breaths. Make sure you're steady. And then to add, uh, start to lower the upper body down. Maybe add the shoulders. Breathe. Definitely more challenging. Good. One more breath. Whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> and then hands down. Uh, half moon. So left hand stays down. So really got to open up that right hip. Three deep breaths. And slowly release that. Go ahead and keep the right hand down. Take the left arm up. Breathe. Drive that back leg back. Lengthen up and twist. That was more than three, but just take one more inhale. And like before, drop it all. Hands and feet. One more time in that squat. So stepping back a little bit, squatting down a bit, interlace the fingers a lot, <laughs> except the index fingers, reach the arms up, and breathe. One more nice big inhale into the resistance and then fold. Clasp the hands back, stretch the shoulders, breathe. Good, one more breath. And then release it. Step the legs back, vinyasa. Uh, or straight to down dog. And then one more time in our uh, low plank. So drop to the knees right away. Last round. I think this is our third one. Onto the forearms. Almost there. <laughs> Ready, set, go. So let's do 30 and 30. So 30 second hold and 30 seconds of mountain climbers if you want them. Otherwise, just hold here. Breathe. So if you're going to do the mountain climbers, you got five seconds to start them. Three, two, one, go. 30 seconds. Your pace, you want to go fast, go fast, go slow, go slow, whatever you want. Medium. I'm, I'm on the medium train. 15 seconds. Four, three, two, one. Dolphin. Lift the hips, push the shoulders back. And then downward facing dog. Very nice. All right, and then again, drop to the knees. We're just gonna do one little back bend here. That's it for the core. This one actually is kind of good for the shoulders. Ustrasana, I always tuck my toes to start. Um, so you, if you're more comfortable, you can just go back to the heels and you can have your, point, your toes pointed, lift up and lean back. If that's too much for you, Hands can be on the waist, you just lift up and lean back like this. So that's depending on your spine, right? And if you're more comfortable than that, but less comfortable for both arms, you do one at a time. Either way, it's about the heart opening, spine stretching, but also shoulders relaxing. So here, 
If you can, drive the hips forward. Feel the shoulder stretch. Lift the heart up. Soften the shoulders. Melt. And slowly, slowly, come on down. Good. Pause. Breathe. Good. And then let's just go right to pigeon. So come on up. Step the right leg forward. Pigeon pause. Easy stretch here. Spend about 90 seconds or so. Yeah, there we go. God, so keep breathing. Good, smooth, even breaths. If it hurts your knee, then reclining pigeon is probably a better option for you, which I can show you momentarily here. This is reclining pigeon, if you didn't already know that. Just about 30 seconds or so longer breathing. Last breath or two. Good. And then switch it. Same thing, other side. Uh, stepping that opposite leg forward for pigeon or just doing um, reclining pigeon the same way, other side. Start the timer, ready, set, go. And just a quick reminder, so next week begins the five day, my five day revitalizing challenge starts next Tuesday. So if you're watching this live or soon thereafter, uh, next Tuesday we begin 8.30 in the morning with a little breathing, followed by some meditation, and then we'll be doing actually a little combo of some plyo, like hit and yoga. Um, so the whole schedule, there's, uh, I'll be posting more about it all this week, giving you some little sort of examples of what happens during the week and some people, you know, some of their experience and how they felt. Just, it's just a great, you know, it's a great five day moment to, to kind of just reset, reconnect with yourself, give you, you know, and provide you with a bunch of tools to, to help move through some of the stress. We've all had a stressful 12 months <laughs> some way or another so um, it's just a nice little reset totally free and we do it via Facebook and email and zoom so um, if you have questions just find me let me know but we'll get you in there last few breaths on this side legs forward shake them out for a second good 
shake out the legs, flex the feet back, reach the arms up, fold. Good, one more breath, give it a good stretch. And then roll back, roll up, take the legs up and over the head for plow. Legs up from there. Legs wide, flex the feet. Bend the knees, soles of the feet together. And then legs up from there, and then down over your head slowly. Come on down, we'll take our final twist and then Shavasana. Pull the right knee in, give it a good squeeze in. Roll to the left side, twist. And then switch it, same thing, other side. Twist. Good. And then back to the center for Shrivasana, final rest. So go ahead and just take a a moment, set it up there, shoulders down away from the body, eyes closed, feet flop open. Take a deep, deep inhale, as deep as you can. And exhale. You can take a nice deep breath from there.
Bring the left hand to the heart center, right hand to the belly. Pause. Bend the knees, soles. Oh, bend the knees, roll to your right side. Good. And then make your way up to a seat, comfortable seat. Sitting up tall, palms up, eyes closed. Take a, uh, just a moment here to kind of reconnect body, mind, breath. Hopefully shoulders a little bit more open feeling a bit stronger, more ready to go about your, the rest of your day. All right, bring the palms together at the heart. Take a moment of gratitude. Gratitude for every breath. Namaste. Ah, well done, everyone. Thank you very much for showing up. Thank you guys for showing up. <laughs> and those of you streaming, thank you for showing up. Um, so again, you can support our studio going to fivepointyoga.com and you can scroll down a little bit and check out all the details. Otherwise, we'll see you next Monday.